Hey, what's up dudes and welcome to TNF Gaming. My name is Freddy and today we're finally going to get started on our Season 11 Yon Guide. Now, what are we going to be covering in this video? I'm going to be covering Yon's spells and masteries for Season 11. I'm going to be covering his combos and I'm going to be covering his build path which is basically everything that you're going to need to know to start mastering this champ. If you guys have any questions, there's three ways that you can reach us. One is in the comment section down below. Two is over on our twitch.tv forward slash Tim and Freddy link in the description or on our discord, which is also in the description. Now there is a fourth way, which is on our mobile fire. I'll link it down below. If you guys post a comment on there, we're always updating the guides on every single patch. So even if the video isn't necessarily of this patch, you will be able to check out all the changes over on our mobile fire. Without further ado, guys, let's get started. All right, now quickly to cover these masteries, um, I personally go into precision. Maybe domination will make a comeback with either electrocute or perhaps hail of blades. It's tricky, it might be more bursty, but personally, the more safe pick to go is always going to be Precision. Now, I go Conqueror. Fleet Footwork and press the attack are viable. Fleet Footwork if you want to go more of a defensive uh, lane and press the attack if you want to go for more of a extreme bursty. Second one is Guaranteed Triumph because I want that ability to actually heal myself up after I get a kill because I do play somewhat of an assassin Yone, especially with the ultimate. Uh, for the third one, you could go Bloodline. Some people go it for a little bit more sustain in the lane, especially if you're going to run it with Fleet Footwork. Um, personally, I like to go Alacrity. More attack speed allows me to spam that Q a little bit more. Although it was nerfed, it's going to make somewhat of a comeback in Season 11. I guarantee you, Champions 2 overpowered. And finally, Coupe de Gras. Second off, we're going to go into Domination with Taste of Blood. Now, the Taste of Blood is basically going to give you your sustainability for the early game and allowing you to do uh, get to that late game and get to that... My GG subs. There you go. Code TNF, 10% off. So now back to the masteries. Taste for blood. Um, it will give you the sustainability to get into the late game and get yourself rolling. If you're having a little bit of a difficult lane, it will help you out quite a bit. Ravenous Hunter is my next one. Why the bounty stacks will allow me to get Omni Vamp. Again, more sustain and more survivability towards the late game as well. Next up in the offense, I go for attack speed. Again, more attack speed, more Qs. Secondly, we're going to go for Adaptive Force, which will just help out all around. And then third, into Defense, depends on what you're going up against. If it's AD, go Armor. If it's AP, go Magic Resist. All right, now, as for spells, Flash and Ignite. Maybe Exhaust, but guaranteed the Flash. Why? You'll see it later on in the combos. There are so many combos that you can actually use together with the Flash that allow, that allow you to do a lot more nifty things and give the champion a lot more utility. That being said, um, let's get into the combos. So let's get started in the build path. Now, a debate can be made for Kraken Slayer or Gale Force, but personally the safest build I can give you for the attack speed and the lifesteal to give you that sustain in the early game that you're desperately going to need against most poke champions or even assassins like Fizz or Zed um, is Immortal Shield Bow. That has to be followed by Zerko Greaves unless you're super spiraling and you can get your almost instant infinity edge. I personally would go Zerko Greaves, infinity edge, and here's where it gets tricky. I'm now at 80% on my critical strike chance. And it's gonna give me three crit strike items that actually I don't want right now. So Mortal Reminder, yeah, it'll give me crit chance, put me over there. Storm Razor, give me crit chance, put me over there. Phantom Dancer, never bad. A little bit more mobility allows you to, uh, to gain more movement speed. And a debate can be made for Phantom Dancer, but personally, my biggest recommendation is to go for Bloodthirster. With it giving crit chance, it will actually get you to that 100% crit chance mark. And the lifesteal from the Bloodthirster, unless they're running very, like, grievous wounds heavy, will almost be impossible for them to counter. Now, next up in the build, it gets a little bit 
more into the variety because yes, some grievous wounds would be good, but getting an immortal shield bow will make you over cap on it. So maybe just the executioner's calling might be good or the Kemp punk chainsword give you a little bit more ability haste. Either one can be made a case for, but personally, I think you're better off going for a death's dance. Now this is under you recommended. I'd go with this and then at the end, depending on what their team is looking like, I'm not gonna go for a Lord Dominix because yes, it will give you the penetration and it'll also make you over cap on your critical strike, which is just ridiculous. You might as well go for a Cerulean's Grudge if that's what you really need more of. But a Guardian Angel will give you that little bit more of sustain. Get that Elixir of Wrath. Now this next build, I personally don't have that much experience running, but it is being run by the pros. I'm talking Faker, Larson, Chovy. They're all running this new build. Now, it does require you to be able to actually use Gale Force properly, but it goes like this. Gale Force, Zerko Greaves, Infi Edge, and then here's where the store is gonna recommend like Phantom Dancer, but actually Bloodthirster is the best one to follow up after that. That being said, usually they go for a GA followed by a Death Stance, and then of course your Elixir of Wrath. Do not forget your Elixir of Wrath. That's basically your second build. All right, now for the first combo and the reason we're running flash um, is our mortal steel flash combo. Now, what this does is it basically it's an extension of your mortal steel or your Q ability. So your Q of course has a finite range, but with the flash on top of it, it allows you to assassinate or chase or catch up to certain champions. Now let's have a look at that in slow motion. So your second ability is your W. Now another one that can be combined with the actual flash uh, to extend its range. So what you want to be doing is W and flash. And the damage will actually proc at the end of your flash range. Um, this can be combined with your Q as well. So for example, if I were to W flash Q, you see that? actually get a little bit more damage off it's a little bit more difficult to pull off right after each other but still very much doable and if you practice this a little bit you'll get pretty good at it pretty quickly now let's see what that looks like in slow-mo So now let me show you the first combo which I call the yo-yo you're gonna want to have two stacks of mortal steel ready you're going to want to position yourself right at the edge. Use your E, use your Q as a gap closer, auto attack, W, Q, auto attack, Q. Get knocked back, use your Q to go right back in and finish him off. Now the advanced yo-yo is a little bit more tricky and let me show you why because you're gonna you're gonna have to be quite a bit faster there so you need your two stacks of mortal steel ready you're gonna stand at the edge you're gonna use your e ulti q back w auto attack q auto attack q and you're gonna snap back and you're gonna want to go right back in finish him off with either an ignite or another q and that is your advanced yo-yo combo. Now let's have a look real quick at what that looks like in slow motion. All right, so now for your basic all-in combo. Let's have a look at what that looks like. So first, I wanna have two stacks of 
Mortal Steel ready. I'm gonna stand on the edge and this time I'm gonna engage with my ulti, E back, use my Q, use my W, auto attack, Q, auto attack, Q, snap back, chase him down with your thingy with an ignite and finish him off with whatever you have left there. So let's have a look at what that looks like in slow motion. And the reason I use save up my dash for the end again is because they're going to want to be running away and you can catch up with them with your mortal steel jump. So now for the where's my yo-yo combo, right? So first I'm gonna get two stacks of mortal steel ready. I am gonna jump over the wall, flash, Q, use my ulti, Q again, you and get out of there. And watch them try and find where you are. Let's have a look at what that looks like in slow motion. All right, guys, that's going to about round it off for this video. If you enjoyed, please do hit that like button. Show your support. It really means the world to us. Um, if you have any questions, comment them down below. Ask them personally over on twitch.tv forward slash Tim and Freddy. Go ask them on the Discord. Or if you feel like this guide may not be up to date, check out the MOBA Fire link in the description below where every single patch, every single tier, they're updated. For all you guys who are tired of paying for like big energy drinks and stuff. Wow, that's staying in the video. GG Subs guys, we are sponsored by them. Code TNF, 10% off on their website. Link in the description below. 100 servings actually last me like six or seven months if I have to calculate that out in Red Bulls. Like you have no idea how much money I'm saving and stuff. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Get my dwarf liver disease right here, by the way. <laughs> I don't know what the hell that can is. Can you make can you choose a little bit of a yellow there, Fred? There Ooh, we go. that's jaundice. That's <laughs> jaundice, bro. We all know dwarves love a drink, but man. <laughs> those guys taking it a little far, don't you think? I've been pooping blood for a week now, Timmy. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I don't know if I can leave that in, but I like it.